Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of my MacBook Pro video. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it right up here and in the description box below as well with some additional topics to talking about using a MacBook Pro. This part goes into a little bit more of customization tips for your MacBook, whereas the other one is a little bit more just basic navigational knowledge. But of course, I will leave a list in the description box of topics that I'll be covering in this video with their timestamps if you need to skip around. And I'll also have the list of topics that I covered in the previous video if you're looking for something specific and need to check out the other video. But let's go ahead and jump into part two. I wanna talk about taking screenshots and doing screen recordings, which is super important, I think, for everybody. So right now, I am doing a screen recording. And the way you can tell that I'm doing that is by this right up here. This is telling me that I'm currently recording something. You can also see it on your taskbar right here and I could click stop at any time to stop the recording. And I am actually going to do that so that I can show you how to start a new one and to screenshot as well. So to take a screenshot of your entire screen, you're gonna wanna click command shift three. And as you can see, it just took a screenshot. It's right here and it's gonna automatically save to my desktop right there. And if you wanna take a screenshot of a specific portion of your web browser or like a receipt or something like that, I'm gonna take a portion screenshot, which is command shift four instead. And so when you do command shift four, this will pop up. And so what you do is just drag a box around whatever you wanna screenshot and then release it when you're happy. And again, it'll save right here and then go onto your desktop as a screenshot. Another thing you might wanna do is a screen recording. So the way you do that is Command Shift 5. So we have Command Shift 3 for the entire screen, Command Shift 4 for a portion of the screen, and Command Shift 5 is a screen recording. Okay, so when you click Command Shift 5, this is what's gonna come up. The capture section is for screenshots and this is the recording section. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to either record entire screen or record selected portion. And if you click selected portion and you just drag this around, anything in gray is not gonna be recorded. Anything that's white will be. So that's how you can tell what's gonna be recorded and what won't be. Or you could just click record entire screen, which is what I'm gonna do. And then these are also some other options that you can do for your screen recordings. And then when you're ready, you just click record and it'll start recording. And it'll show you up here that you're recording as well. Another thing that drove me crazy when I first got this update was notifications coming through my computer. I would constantly be screen recording things for videos and my text messages would pop up or my calls would come through my computer and I couldn't figure out how to turn that off so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So you can obviously do it with do not disturb which is the reason I added that to my control bar so that I could easily click do not disturb and then notifications will not pop up. But you can also just actually turn off your notifications by going into system preferences, notifications, and here are all of the applications that are gonna have notifications pop up. So for messages, you can allow it or turn it off. Same thing for mail. But you might notice that phone calls aren't in here. And that's something that really frustrated me because I couldn't figure it out. So what you actually have to do to turn off phone calls coming through your computer is to go to FaceTime and you go to Preferences, which I already pulled up right here. And right here is where you can select or unselect calls from iPhone. So that's how you turn off phone calls coming through your computer or turn that feature on if that's something that you want. If you lose your phone a lot, it can actually be helpful to be able to answer your phone through your computer. Another thing you can customize are hot corners. And if you don't know what they are, I'll show you an example of what a hot corner is. So when I hover over my top left corner, my launch pad comes up. And if I hover over it again, I go back to my desktop. If I hover over my top right corner, I can see my desktop, all of my things go off to the side, and then if I hover over it again, they all come back. So let me show you how you can do that. 
So if you go into your system preferences and click on mission control, hot corners is one of the options. And then here is where you can choose what you want to have as a hot corner. And then of course, if you decide you wanna turn those off, you just click this little dash and it'll turn them off. So now if I hover over up on the left, nothing happens. Same with all my other corners. So now that we've talked about helpful navigation features on a MacBook Pro, I wanna talk about some customization options. So you can actually change your folder icons, which I recently learned, which was really exciting, to just customize the look of your computer. You can also put photos on your sticky notes, which I'll show you how to do. And I'm also gonna show you how to remove the background of an image in preview, which I didn't know you could do until recently as well. So let's start with changing folder icons. So what you're gonna wanna do is get an image and I'm gonna use Canva for this and show you how I do it. So basically what I do is just pull up a new Canva document. Um, I clicked add page and then you can go to elements and then if you search something like, here are all my recent searches. So coffee, let's do coffee as an example. So if we click this one right here, that, as you can see, is only an option if you have a pro account, which I do. But you can see if you hover over which ones are free as well. So I'm going to just make this as big as this little square will allow. And now I want to change the colors to kind of mesh better with my current like watercolor background since I'm not really liking the brown. So... I'm gonna change it to this color scheme. And then if you have Canva Pro, you can download an image with the transparent background already. But since I wanna show you how to remove backgrounds in preview, I will just download it with the white background so I can show you how to do that. So once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna click on it to open it. And if you click this right here to show the markup toolbar, and then click this right here, this instant alpha. If you click and drag over the white, anything that's this like peachy color is what's gonna be deleted. So if now you can see all these like moving dots, if I just click delete, it's gonna delete that background, which is so simple and easy and I had no idea you could do that on preview. So. Once you do that, you just save it. And then to change a folder icon, what we're gonna do is click Command A, which is select all, Command C, which is copy, and then right click on one of our folders and go to get info. And I'm gonna click on this icon right up here until it's highlighted. And then I'm gonna click Command V, which is paste. And as you can see, that used to be a folder and now it's this adorable little coffee icon. So you can do that with all of your folders to really customize the look of your laptop and your desktop. And then if you decide you want it to just go back to the normal folders, you can click up here again until it's highlighted and just click delete. And it'll go back to being a folder. Now let's talk about how to get photos on your stickies. So if you have, you know, a photo of your kid or your adorable pet, you can put them on a sticky so that you can look at them all the time. And the way that you do that is by getting the photo that you want. So I just pulled up a photo here of my dog sitting in front of our Christmas tree. And if I go to stickies and click new note and try to drag this photo onto the sticky, this is what happens. It's, I mean, so ginormous, you can't see anything. So <laughs> that will not do. So we're gonna delete that note. And I'm gonna show you what you actually can do. So if you open it up, it's gonna open preview. And if you just click the minus until it's kind of the size that you want it, you can take a screenshot with, of just a portion, which I mentioned earlier with Command Shift 4. And then that screenshot will save to my desktop, which is right there. And then I can go back to Sticky's new note. And then 
put it on here and now it's perfect. And I can of course change the background of it. So let's do green since it's Christmassy. And that way you can have photos of whoever you love on your computer that you can look at all the time without it having to be your background of your computer and also if you were ever were doing like a presentation on your computer and you wanted to minimize the photos, you can just click this right here in your stickies, minimize them and put them off to the side. And then when you're done, you can just open them back up and put them back on your desktop. Okay, so that is it for part two of my MacBook Pro video. If you watched both parts, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, I will have part one linked below as well. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.